Hi, everyone. Very interesting topic today. Is it possible to exist without emotions? I would say we should test it out. We should uh, try releasing. our reactions to emotions, emotional outbursts. Let me first um, close this door. Okay. We react to anger. We react when someone disagrees with us. It's causing the body a lot. It's, it's costing the body a lot, meaning it's compromising our physical health. It leads to stress. So emotional reactions, not something that we need to survive. It is something that is, and that we have to release. So let's look at what emotion mean. Even in the word motion, you say energy in motion, emotion. But if we, uh, If we release our reaction to emotions, we can redefine emotions as expressions in motion, creative expressions in motion. Let's see how the, the dictionary sees this. a strong feeling such as anger, etc. Okay, and if you look at uh, feeling, it says, An emotional state or reaction. But there's such a thing as um, physical feeling where, where the physical senses of which the skin contains chief and organs and of which the sensations of touch and temperature are characteristic touch. Sensation experienced through this sense. <laughs> Excuse me. So, there is a, an underlying fear in this. And, uh, And the underlying fear is that we will be robots without emotions. Oh. Who resists being a robot? Deep within us, we do resist it because <laughs> uh, 
we define ourselves as humans with emotions and take if someone takes that away from us we stop being humans that's the that's the fear behind it the fear that we will be um we will be robots can you imagine yourself not having not having emotions like this hello i am june i want to talk to you about emotions is it possible to not have emotions and exist on earth There is fear within all this that I will be a robot without emotions and you will all dislike me because you will have emotions and I don't. Will you dislike me? Or not. <laughs> so that that is my fear that I will be like that. But it's not bad at all. I mean, I I looked at it when I was doing that. It's um, I'm not trying to to please you. You're not. trying to please me. I'm not trying to talk to get you to like what I talk about. I'll do it again because it's kind of, there is something there. Is it possible to talk without emotions? This question Instead of asking this question, we can probe this and look at why we need to react, why we need to be liked by others, why we need to do what others do, why we need to smile the way others smile, why we need to smile when others smile, why we need to laugh when others laugh. Why we need to feel bad when others don't love when we give a joke. When others don't appreciate what we talk about. This is not really logic. This is fuzzy logic. Because I can give you the message that I want to give you without really smiling, without adopting a personality, and just give it to you. Now, if I redefine being a robot, let's say, um, I can see that to um sounds there is rub rob or ought and if i do it backwards to bore, to bore, bore, it's actually to bore 
to uh no because um to oh to boredom going to boredom if you if you go from back to front t o b o r to bore to bore them you're the reason why we don't like it is people gonna get bored we don't we we will not get the likes that we need <laughs> we will not be able to um <laughs> we will not be able to um evolve as um uh, as a better us but those are just uh, beliefs uh, of course we we can redefine the word better what does that mean it's it's a matter of expanding ourselves here as who we really are you see not through emotions but through our creative expression. So to bore, bore dumb, bore dumb. Mold, rob. You see, um, bo boredom is robbing ourselves of the excitement of life. That's how we see it. Um, mode of a robot, mode of robotics. So it's interchangeable, robot and boredom, but we can reprogram ourselves because robots are programmed but we can reprogram ourselves so as the robot that an expanded expression robot, an expanded expression human. Is this, it's not really, it doesn't really matter if you're a robot or a human, if your, your expression will benefit all, you can be a robot and you will be doing your purpose on earth, so that to me makes sense so mm. instead of reacting to boredom you can um, mm. um bore a hole in the kingdom, in the human kingdom, and make a mark as your stand, as what your stand is, as long as that stand aligns to the primary principle of life, which is what is best for all life. So, 
it's possible to exist with our emotions as long as we redefine ourselves within that and express with or without emotions. In an expanded expression of who we really are, benefiting all. All meaning humans, animals, plants, other organisms, and life on Earth, living or non-living. Because as we do that, we, we relax the definition of being a human. You, you are the... You are, you can either um, create a world that truly honors life, you as the man, as the human, or you can just be guided by self-interest and <clears throat> expand yourself, but rather diminish you within that self-interest because as you are a part of the whole, it's commonsensical to express yourself in an expanded way where you embrace the whole and you benefit the whole in your expression of yourself. So that is uh, my um, beef today about emotions. You can uh, redefine emotions as expressive expressions, expressions, creative expressions. That is about motion the motion of expression as that self that is equal to all. The S in the end of emotions is that self that is using one's expression to move or motion oneself to create a world that truly honors life and move to that direction. Expressive motion as that self. Expression motions as that self that stands for what is best for all. That is really cool. I mean, um, can robots do that? Um, this is what I see, that because humans are programming robots, if we are expanded in our expression of ourselves and we have this stand to express ourselves in a way that is best for all, we can make robots like that too. So robots and humans will be equal in one. You see, that is the key. That is the um, that is the meat. That is the beef of what it is to live. That is what I have to say for now. I'll see you soon.